Hi, I'm Murray. In this video, I'm going to show you how I can reduce your business bills today and save five to seven figures. This is just for the USA market. And if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a link below at the top of the YouTube description that you can click on to reach this web page. So I'm Murray from Billsaver and we can help companies get cost reduction on all their bills. This video here is actually for reducing your personal bills and with personal bills, I can save you around $500 to $1,500 a year. So you're welcome to check out that video. But let me start by saying this is a 100% result-based service and we already have saved more than $240 million for our business partners. It doesn't require much from you. We even provide a full bill audit for free. We have industry insiders working on different cost centers, see below. So it's super simple. We do all the work. And here are some of the costs you might have that we can possibly save 30% plus on. So electricity and other utilities, ERC payroll tax refund help, internet cable satellite savings, merchant processing savings. In fact, we can guarantee we can save you in this area. Pest control savings, printer and copier lease savings, refrigeration, energy efficiency, security service savings, shipping and freight savings, telecom and IT savings, toner and office supply savings, water delivery savings. We can help you add five to seven figures to your bottom line this year. So what I invite you to do is click on this button or just go to joinbillsaver.com. And this is how it works in a nutshell. We negotiate better deals for you with your existing providers. If we get a much lower rate, and we usually do, we split the savings, zero risk for you. We save for both individuals and businesses. So you can come and check out this page. So it's zero risk, zero hassle. Our experts negotiate better plans for you with your existing provider. They get back to you with the better plan. Only if you approve, they make the change and you get the savings and we get paid on every bill uploaded. It's win-win. There's no fee to begin our services. We'll go to work negotiating for you and split the savings with you when we successfully lower your bills. So you can click on any of the blue buttons here. Just click on this one and just enter your email address. And you can also come back here and do this for your home, for your personal bills. On average, we save people between $500 and $1,500 on their personal bills. So definitely do that. But as a business, you're going to select business, then select your location, then click continue. And so what we've got here is a lot of these top bills are the same as personal. And then these ones are exclusively for commercial businesses. Uh, so let's say you wanted to reduce your electricity bills. You'd select that, Let's say your business uses cable, select that, your internet bill for your business, TV bill for your business, phone, satellite radio, security, pest control, water delivery, and other. And I'm going to have Tammy explain these here. If you click on them, you can see what the employee retention credit audit is all about. We can also do a bill audit for you. Offer energy efficient products, zero cost merchant processing. I mean, we guarantee that we can get you better savings on merchant processing and commercial services consultation. So if all this is all overwhelming, and you don't understand anything, you can just select this and we'll reach out to you and discuss ways we can help you save money. But I'm going to invite Tammy on now and explain these things. She's actually showing a screen with a different look with um, it's a pink look, but it's all the same things. So you can come through and select all these and then click on proceed to check out, follow the prompts. And yeah, I'll bring on Tammy now to explain these. Okay, so under the additional products and services, the first one I'll talk about, um, and there's a method to my madness here. And the first one I'll really talk about is the bill audit. And so if you if you click on one of them, there's there's an explanation here, but the bill audit is, is very similar to negotiation. In fact, so similar that it sometimes is a bit confusing, but we negotiate customer bills um, when they send us a bill. We call the provider, let's say AT&T, for example, um, and we say, hey, you know, Tammy's paying too much money on all of her her cellular services for the business with the bill audit. It's not a negotiation, but we go, we have a team of auditors that will go line by line through these. Um, they are subject matter experts on these um, different uh, rate codes, rate classes, and things that are on commercial bills specifically. So on electric bills, for example, uh, they set up a meter type for each commercial business. And if you're not under the correct meter type, then you could be 
sometimes significantly overcharged, um, especially on, you know, not-for-profits, churches, and those kind of guys if they're set up under um, wrong rate charges, rate codes. Um, you can find some significant issues there. And so 80% of the time, we do find a significant issue when doing a bill audit, going through the charges. Um, it's pretty pretty high, 80%. I will back up just a little bit and say for, for a customer to qualify for bill audit, our auditors would prefer that, you know, if it's a not-for-profit, they have a combined utility spend of $25,000 per year. Um, if it if it's a not for profit, if it's not a not for profit, if it's for profit like most of our companies, um, it's fifty thousand dollars in combined spend. And when I say combined spend, it means anything that falls under what we call a utility for um, a commercial business, which is very broad. So um, electric bill, gas bill, water bill, waste bill, telephone, you know, landline, cell phone, internet, um, any type of telecom service. And so security, IT. Yeah, um, no, not necessarily. I don't think security. I mean, uh, IT, but in some cases, security, home secure, or, uh, business security systems, uh, alarm systems. Those things fall under a utility spend um, where they change out those rate classifications. And so you can pretty quickly get, you know, you think about fifty thousand dollars in, in spend. Um, you know, it's really uh, for a not for not for profit. It, at 25 grand, it's really only two grand a month and spend, um, and they're there between all of those bills. And so, you know, I know you'll have a lot of not-for-profit activity with your with the fundraising side, and so it's important to know that it's only 25,000 for those. That gets them there a little bit quicker. Um, but where they have that combined spend, when they submit their bills to us for negotiation, it's really a no-brainer that we also just do an audit for these guys too, right? I mean, we've already got the bill. We're calling to negotiate. Let our auditors take that at the same time. Um, you know, they they take a look at um, the one bill provides insight into the last several years worth of charges. Um, and so if they find any overcharges, they eliminate the mistakes, um, and they they call the utility. They have any errors changed, right? If it's a wrong meter class, rate code, tax number, something um, that they find in that process. So going forward, the customer saves significant money. But what they also do is that they request um, a refund to the customer up to 36 months in arrears. In some states, um, you know, there's a statute of limitations like Texas, you can only request a refund up to 24 months. Um, but either way, they get a refund for that customer for those same overcharges that they're now eliminating. Um, and as you can imagine, between the refund check and the forward savings, it's very, very rarely less than a five-digit check or a five-digit savings for these customers. Spend. Yeah, so it, it's a really big, it stacks up a whole lot quicker than a traditional bill negotiation. Um, and of course, then the negotiations on top of that, where we're able to negotiate better rates for them, then, it, you know, there's there's an additional savings for the customer. So um, bill audit is super fantastic. We love those. I will caution you on the bill negotiation side. You know, we typically can turn those around two to three days, you know, same week, we get that information back to the customer. On the bill audit side, it takes... Um, it's about a five to six week process, and that's only because we're depending on the utility to correspond and to get the information back to us. And so because their processes are just so antiquated and slow, um, we can pretty quickly identify any um, errors, omissions, you know, overcharges, that kind of stuff. We get an audit report back to the customer pretty quickly within about a week or so. Um, and then the customer says, yeah, sounds great. Um, we then hit the utility and say, we need a refund check for all of this, and then we need the, the following charges removed, and then that process hits, you know, we right. say five to six weeks is safe. So that's the bill audit. On the employee retention credit audit, not sure if you're familiar with this, um, mm -hmm. but under yeah. the CARES Act in the United States, yeah, so everybody was getting PPP loans as protection, um, but under the CARES Act, there was a second portion of that that said, um, another way that we're going to stimulate these businesses and help them is that we're going to provide them with this employer retention credit. And so if your business qualified under either the COVID mandates, you know, they were shut down, it was a restaurant, it was a daycare or something, people couldn't come in, um, or they had a gross receipts decline, um, the government's crediting back up to half of each employee's payroll taxes that were paid by that employer. And so as long as the employer was in business during 2020, 2021, 
you know, during the COVID uh, restrictions. And as long as they have W-2 employees, so it only, it, it only provides the, the refund for anyone that you paid payroll taxes on, um, our tax specialists will get, um, it, there's a list of required documents, which I'll share with you. Um, that's also linked on the site when they select um, here. You know, if I select it and move forward, I'll show you shortly. Um, there's some tax documents that our auditors need, and then we prepare the audit. It takes, you know, about two weeks for them to prepare that audit. They send back any kind of findings, you know, whether the customer is qualified or not, or, you know, if you're not qualified, they let you know if you are qualified. They give you a summary of what your refund should be. And then once the customer says, sounds great, um, our tax specialists file those documents with the IRS and the customer receives that refund check in about six months directly from the IRS. Um, of course, because it's the IRS, it takes about six months. Yeah. Um, the fee that we charge for that, it's a little bit different. On the employee retention credit audit, it's a 30% fee. Um, 30 percent of the the refund is, is what our fee is and so that has been going like gangbusters um you know we have every single day um a, a, something coming back for you know 200 300 400 thousand dollars we've had a couple of churches that get this back i mean it's really been incredible to see some of these companies put this money back in their pocket so it stacks up very quickly um we have energy efficiency products which are, uh, you know, conventional products that are, uh, they're tangible products that are installed. Um, you know, our, our service provides the installation for them. For commercial um, businesses that, that use, um, traditionally it's, it's HVAC systems, PTAX, which are the individual um, HVAC systems for hotel rooms or um, any type of walk-in reaching coolers. So uh, convenience stores, grocery stores, those kind of guys that use these kind of products. We have a suite of products um, with one of our partners that will reduce the energy that's used by each of those. And it provides a specific return on investment, you know, period of, you know, anywhere from eight months to 12 months on most of these and um, provides, it's, I think it's 20 to 30 percent um, energy savings. These energy efficiency products have been really, really hot since um you know, I don't know if you've been keeping up with electric rates here. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we're we're having some pretty crazy inflation, but energy yeah. prices at the same time have just gone crazy. So most um, home electricity and gas bills have more than tripled. And so especially businesses that use a significant amount of electricity, they're looking for a way to cut that. And, you know, we can, for one, if it's in a deregulated energy state, we can find them a new provider and, and get them less right up here where we do electricity. Um but we can also get them energy efficiency products. And the way that these products work, I should note, ERC, energy efficiency, these kind of things, is once that customer comes in and sees this and says, hey, cool, yeah, energy efficiency, I, I think I could benefit from this. Um, you don't have to be a subject matter expert, and we don't link a ton of overwhelming information here. Once the customer selects that in the cart and checks out, our subject matter experts reach out directly to them within 24 hours. So the team that does the installations and um, proposals for energy efficiency would reach out and say, hi, we've received your information on behalf of Umbrella. Um, and, you know, they schedule a time to go line by line through the different products that are available on our end. So for any of these, um, they can select the product they're going to get. Um, something from us immediately that thanks the customer for submitting the interest in the product and ask them to click on a Calendly link to sign up to speak to us more in depth about the products and services. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got those. We've got a net zero merchant processing, which is if you have any clients that, that process credit cards in any way, restaurants, anybody, um, we've got a vendor that will take their last merchant processing statement and then prepare um, a report of how they can save them on their transactional fees or pass the fees through to their customers. But um, it gives them multiple options for how they, they can select new services, but we guarantee savings. So we can, you know, reduce or eliminate a lot of the credit card processing fees for these customers. So if they, if they process credit cards, then we, you know, they can select here. What's the, is there a minimum for the revenue, the turnover? Nope. No minimum there. Um, you know, our odds of saving them money are greater the larger they are, of course, but but they take yeah. a look at and prepare a summary for anybody. So um, that is one where there's a merchant processing um, statement that it, the customer can upload. And so that that does count toward, um, of course, fundraising. Um, it's just the ERC and, and the um, energy efficiency. We, we don't we don't get a bill on. 
And then we have other commercial services here, and we really only have this here in case someone reviews this list and says, what is all of this? What is Bill Audit? What is, I don't understand anything. So it says, not sure where to start, need some help, something else our commercial services team will reach out to you to discuss ways we can help your business. So if they get overwhelmed, they can simply select here, and it's going to trigger communication from us that just gives them a really good summary, uh, more in-depth on each of the products, and allows them to, you know, from there, go ahead and continue to select or move forward with some stuff. Um, and, and they can request to have a one-on-one a -on -one conversation with our commercial services team. So we do that on the commercial services side just because, you know, a lot of these products require more hand-holding. So they get a pretty personalized treatment. And that's really it. That, that's, uh, that's what we have. Also, if you're a medium or large-sized company with printers, copiers, and scanners, uh, I can save you a lot of money. This is with a different cost reduction partnership. A separate conversation to bill saver uh, but for example some of these savings are just enormous um, total savings you know we're into six figures here electrical contractor over four hundred thousand um, religious non-profit hundred ninety thousand general contractors two hundred forty thousand so if you're doing fifteen hundred dollars a month on your printing leasing toner all your costs maybe at one store you've got multiple branches of your business then we can save a lot often over 40 percent and the reason these are such big savings is often the terms of the contracts are as long as 60 months but please note if this is a fit for you and you're wanting to save like 40 percent plus on your printers copiers scanners and your leasing and your toner from all your branches and realistically save you know mid five figures up to six figures even more so these are massive savings if you're the business owner or the cfo you know for this auto dealership you know they may have needed to make two million dollars in sales to save two hundred thousand dollars on their bottom line so reach out if you're interested in this as well but the best place is to start with bill saver upload all your bills and remember our experts will negotiate better plans for you with your existing provider they get back to you with a better plan only if you approve they make the changes you get the savings and we get paid on every bill uploaded it's win-win you can start uploading your bills today